All right, now I'm going to try to film this with my Rebel Canon. I don't know how the sound's going to come out. I live at 6,000 feet, so I got a little swamp cooler in the window. Hopefully, it's not too bad. What I might do is record a little bit of this and see how it sounds. But today, as promised, we're making soap. So, we got all of our stuff here, including soap cover. These two, this one. Trevor had to go to the urgent care because he got swimmer ear probably and he said it was stinging. So my wife got out of helping me. So we just got home from being gone for a week. Figured we'd get this out of the way. Yep. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Yeah, there you have it. Like and subscribe. Press the notification bell. Press the notification bell. Anything else? Notification bell. Notification bell. So I'm kind of going to go over how I make soap. Might not be the right way to make soap. Mm -hmm. how I make soap, and I have only yeah. made bare fat soap. Yep. And I got a peanut gallery here, so I don't know how this is going to go, how many takes it's going to be. But most of my stuff I got on Amazon. Yeah. And what I've gotten so far, and it's basically all I use, I have a few molds. I got a yeah. few different types. Yeah. Um, if I'm not, I'll probably use those this time because I did promise everybody some soap. So I am going to make a bunch of soap. Yeah. Try to. Um, I do have my, these kind of soap molds, which is just a silicone. Yeah. Uh, I got my scents. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I think I got everything on Amazon except for this stuff. Uh, are they going to zoom? Nope, it's zooming on other people's faces, I think. <laughs> Anyways, this is a household lye drain opener. I get it at uh, Ace Hardware for like five or six bucks. It's not much. And it's, it don't take much lye. My mixer, uh, I'm pretty sure I got this uh, Hamilton, I got this at uh, Walmart. It's like 15 or 20 bucks, they're not that much. Um, my wife wants me to make her some tea trees, remedy soap, that's yeah. more scent. Um, I do got some coloring. Soap coloring. I just started using Ooh, it. my favorite. Her favorite, I just started using it. So, I like purple. She likes purple. I like blue. This is some soap I've already made. Uh -huh. Pink soap. This is lavender. Mm -hmm. I only got three bars left. I thought I had, um, I am out of my cedar leather. The best manly smell soap scent mm. you can. I just like it. Yeah, she just loves it. This is, um, I have some leftover sweet pipe tobacco. I think I sent this to Brett Vaughn. Maybe. Yeah. And I didn't know, but I and I might send this stuff out. These yeah. are some of my first batches, but this is lavender vanilla. This stuff smells. How does it smell? Ooh, yummy. Mm -hmm. Smells yummy. You want to try a bite? No. Is it yummy enough where you want to eat it? So that's lavender vanilla. This batch that I'm making. Oh, well anyway, this batch I'm making, I do have lavender. Mm-hmm. I do have campfire. Yeah, yeah. The stuff I sent Brett Vaughn, mm -hmm. I think it's campfire, yeah. sweet tot, oh no. Oh, it's camp, campfire and uh, cedar leather. Hey, yes. you paying attention here? <laughs> but I don't have no cedar leather left. I need to buy some. I, don't know why I didn't, why it's down in Phoenix. But the campfire is kind of cool because the cedar leather has that manly smell. When you take a shower, you kind of get that, like a campfire smell. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And also, oh, put it in the fridge. Oh, yeah. You kind of So this is my fat that I rendered on the last one. If you can see in the bottom, there is a little gunk left. This is why I'm gonna show you how I, uh, I'm gonna render it down again and filter it again. And I think I, 
I have I have a sock I put over this. You put a good cup in it, and it works super good. So what I'm gonna do first, and I'll probably pick up my GoPro. Yep. What? Yep. What's beeping? Is there a bomb in here? Oh, Mom's coffee pot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this back up. But what I'll I'll probably heat this whole thing up and show you how I clean it again. So. Stay tuned. Tell them. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So we're gonna get this in the pot. Yeah. This quick. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not worried about how much. Oh, I make messes. My wife hates it. I'm not too worried about my amount right now. What I want to do is just clean this. I just want to show you guys how I'm going to clean the soap. It don't smell like soap. It don't smell like soap? Uh, that's because it's hey, hey, perfect. Hey, point it at her. It don't smell like soap. What does it smell like? Bear feet. Oh, bear fat? It smells like bear fat? No, bear feet. Oh, bear feet? What does it smell like to you? Candy. Oh, candy. What does it smell? it smell like to you? For some reason, it kind of smells like cereal. <laughs> Wheat cereal. Cereal. No wonder my wife gets mad at me. <laughs> Spilling more of it on the everywhere. <laughs> That's a big chunk. Big chunk. Yeah. And what I'll do too, mm -hmm. usually I got another pickle jar, but I'm just gonna yeah. clean this one out. Pickle jar. We're gonna get it back on here. Nice and slow, get it melted down, and then I'll filter it again. All right, all I did is take some really hot water, get all the grease out, take paper towel, dry it out. Is that what I did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting melted. I gotta go find my rag or sock I had. Put it back in. All right, I got this old shirt. Mm -hmm. A little rubber band around it. Get you a good cup in there. Like so. Yeah. And we'll start dumping it in. This ought to come out a lot cleaner. Mm-hmm. That looks more like apple juice. Hmm. A bit. Except for that, that is no way brown. Uh, my first batch I didn't clean it so good and I think I got some pieces of whatever in there and turned a little brown spots in the soap but we still used it still came out good right yeah yeah, yeah. so this is probably the longest part okay. but if you have your soap all pre-cleaned then it's a lot easier so a lot of times that's what we do is I'll have it mm -hmm already cleaned in the jar so it's all I do is I scoop it out measure it on the scale I got I don't think I showed you I got the scale Amazon you can get the scale the thermometer so we'll weigh everything out get everything heated up I'll show you how to do the lye which I'll probably say it again but don't use aluminum stainless steel bowls if you have one but right now we're just Waiting for paint to dry. Mm -hmm. Starts getting a little uh, slower draining, so I gotta keep it full. What you can probably do if it starts running a little slow, just scrape some of that sediment off the bottom. Mm -hmm. It could be just clogging up a little. Yeah. You got anything you wanna say? What? Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe? <laughs> what about you? Like and subscribe. Press that notifications bell. So even after I've already filtered it once, you can see a lot of that stuff will sneak by. Maybe even this. Sometimes you could do it twice. Yeah. I don't know. We might do it twice. Mm-hmm. Are you going to say yes to everything? So we'll see how it comes out and if there's anything in there. 
So if you get some of this soap, you might have a piece of meat in it, but it's all right. It's like a defoliant. Same as with the jar, hot water, washed out my bucket that I had the grease in, because this is the one where I actually make the soap. Stainless steel. Harbor Freight, $20 for the set. We're gonna let that drain out a little bit. I'm gonna measure it out, and we're gonna get it back in the pot, and then we're gonna make our lye. What I gotta do, I gotta get on soapcalc.net and find out how much of everything I need. Yeah. I'll get my bowls out, measure my grease, get my lye going, because it's gonna get really hot. You gotta let it cool down, and I'll show you how I kind of cool it down a little faster. Yeah. Well, here we go. Not a whole lot, but there's still a little bit of gunk in there. But I think this is gonna be clean enough. I don't see no floaties. So, we're gonna make you guys some soap. And all those people who commented on my last video are gonna get some. Mm -hmm. So I'll be getting hold of you. Yeah. So we're gonna get, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tear this out on my scale. I like to be at about 104 degrees. Wow, that's at 100. And we're, we're at 120, 130 degrees. So we're gonna let that cool down. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting it in this pot. I'm gonna put it in this pot and let it cool down while I make my lye, and then I'll get my lye cooled down. For some reason Man, I'm almost thinking about making this whole thing and just pouring the, ah, let's just make the whole thing. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of soap. Oh. 57.20. Yeah, it's bouncing back and forth. So let's say 57.20. Okay, so we got 57.20. We got 57 ounces, 57.2 ounces of, of this grease. We're gonna make a lot of soap. That's gonna cool off. We got plenty of time. I'm gonna get on my phone. And, all right. You gotta go to soapcalc.net. Hit the recipe calculator. I don't know if you can see it. I can't even see it. Recipe calculator. You're going to go to ounces. Weight of oils is going to be ounces. You're going to go to this. Oils, fats, and waxes. Go all the way down. I'm using bare tallow, so I'm going to bare tallow. Go over here. Add bare tallow. You're going to do ounces going to be 57.2 ounces of bare towel is what we're using done and I think the fragrance I want to go a little heavy because it's ounce 0.5 of fragrance which is 5% I think I'm gonna go I think I did this before Oop, no back one done Go down here to calculate recipe, view or print recipe, and it shows you right there. Lie, we're gonna do lie. So let me just write this on the board. Give me a second. Okay, we have 57.2 of oil. I need, let me see. Water and lye, I need 21.74 water, 7.54 lye. This is the most I've made. Oils or fragrance is gonna be 3.58 of smelly good stuff. Smelly smell. And that's what I need. That's what I'll do. This is the biggest, this is the biggest batch I've ever made. So let's see how it comes out. Okay. It's gonna be my water. 21.74. Really? 21.74. Need some more. You just need one more. Mm. 
61. Oh. 21. 74. Oh. 21. 74. 21. Mickey. We jumped some of that. Yep. Yeah. Good enough. 2174. That's our water. Mm-hmm. And now I need my lye. Yellow lye. Lye, lye, crocodile. Okay. Don't get this on your hands. Okay, you guys go away. You can't breathe this. You stuff shouldn't in. breathe it. Go away. Go away. Go out over there. Go by the couch. That's where I put my I sent all my kids away except for the cameraman. 7.54 of lye. You don't, have to, you don't have to cover your nose yet. I'm still just going to cover it. Big, this is the biggest batch I've made. 7.54. Ah. 7.54. 7.54. I feel like I'm loading bullets. Gunpowder. Yeah. How about a little extra? Get off that grubby grub grub. I usually do this by the sink. I am covering my nose with this. Yeah, go away. <coughs> this will make you gag. If you breathe it in, you don't want to breathe it in. So, a little warning. You don't want to get this lie on you. You should be wearing glasses and gloves. I identify as doing this. So what I do is I get it in there. And this bowl will get hot. Usually I just dump it all in there. gonna start smoking your bowl's gonna get hot you don't want to breathe it in I got my window open you can see it <clears throat> see that smoke definitely don't want to breathe it in it's a smoking you breathe it in it's like breathing in ammonia I can feel it tickle my nose already you see it's going out the window. But I can still. I still have to back up and take a breath. So you definitely want to do this in a ventilated area. Do not want to get that on you. <clears throat> I get it down to like 100 degrees too. I'll show you how I do this. Find out. See, we're, we're still way high on this. 120, I want to get it down to 100. Check this out. Hundred and ninety degrees. Yeah, I think they say 104. I'm gonna take it. I take I do it about hundred degrees. What? No. Kids trying to come over. So what I'll do is cool this down a little. Oh my God almighty, put my hand on that. So I'm gonna put this in a little bowl of water. Get it cooled down. Looks like it dissolved pretty good. I'll wash all this lye off everything. All right, we got the we got the lye made. We got the oils made. What I do now is uh, I actually bought this just for the fragrant fragrance. So we're gonna need 3.58 of the smelly smell. I think I am just going to do lavender 
this time because everybody likes lavender. Lavender or vanilla. So I'm, let's do lavender. Two of lavender and then I'll and then the rest I'll go a little bit of vanilla. Vanilla. 3.58. Smooth, smooth. 3.58. I'm gonna put a splash of campfire. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it's free soap. So you can't complain. Lyndon said it smells good. Three five, so we'll put out five eight of this. So we're still at one twenty three. I got it down a little bit, <clears throat> and this is going to be high still. Uh, 116 so we got to get that down too so all I'll do is kind of stir this around while it's in the water try to get that temperature down I'll probably do the same with this put it in some water get all of our molds ready I think we're gonna have a lot we might even have to dump one in this so this is cooling down pretty good let's try to get this fat cooled down at about 118 I think because I kind of burnt this I didn't burn it I just got a little hot it's gonna be a little browner I don't know if we might try to throw some color in it I don't know what color sunset red I don't know maybe we'll do a couple colors One oh six on the lie. Oil still hot. We'll put some more cold water in there. Gotta get it down so we catch up to this lie. Lie still a little hot. One oh six, one oh seven. Real good. Alright, so we're halfway through. So if you're still here watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, press, that notifications bell. press the notifications bell like Lyndon says, and keep watching. Because we're going to get her mixed up and pour it in the, the molds. I really want to do a different, like, a marble look. So I'm really, I might, I might, I might. I probably will. So we'll get it all mixed up. And then we'll probably separate it, add two colors. This is probably going to be a darker marble or a darker... So we have to see what colors we want to go. I don't know. Maybe we'll go like black and red, but I don't think it's going to be, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can get any, how many colors we can get out of it. So keep on watching. Also, uh, every Monday night, we get with Brett Vaughn, me, George Lampert from uh, Mountain Music and Mules. Nicholas from Hounds on the Run and Jonathan Jones from Uncle Papa. I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. I just know him as Jonathan Jones. Every Monday we do a live now and just talk about everything. Hounds, dogs, probably soap. Um, pick on people. So even the Californians that get on and listen to us. So get on there Monday night. It's about 4 Mountain Time, 7 Eastern Time. And it's on Brett Vaughn's Born 100 Years Too Late. It's on his 
interviews, stories, and tales page. Monday nights. We'll send a bunch of posts out. Maybe I'll give some soap to somebody on there. This is a big batch. We'll see how many he does. All right. All right, all right, all right. We're ready. Everything's ready. So when I dump this in, you're going to see, see. It's going to start emulsifying. As soon as it hits it, you're going to see a reaction. See that? Oh, the yeah. white. Wow. Instant. That was almost instantly too. All right. And then you just start a mixing. Throw in the fragrance. Mm -hmm. That's not satisfying. It's supposed to trace, which means when you drag it across, it'll leave some. But this looks like it's going to be a watery batch. I've had it dry, just take a little longer. So. Still a little watery, but it's starting to trace. You see how it leaves a line a little bit? I'm just gonna have to keep stirring it up. All right, I dumped a, about half in there, half in there. We're gonna try to do a little marbling. I'm gonna try some black and sunset red. See how it works. Well, it ain't black. It's more tan. <laughs> Trying to make it right. Watch out. Watch out. No time for it to dry. When you're done. I thought this was going to make more soap. But it don't look like it's making a whole lot. Here's our first block. You need to give the camera some hair time. It looks like master beans. <laughs> Well, the black didn't turn out like black as I thought it would be black. The colors didn't turn out exactly black and red. It turned out doo doo and whatever else color. Bean. Mashed up beans. Yeah. Refried beans. <coughs> I really thought I was going to get a little bit more too. I think 40 ounces does one of those blocks. I don't know how these are going to turn out. 
But it was fun doing it, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know if I explained that good enough. What I'm gonna do now is I take a mm -hmm. piece of wax paper. Yep. Yep. I take a piece of wax paper, cover them, and I put a towel over them so they yeah. don't just. Hopefully this gets done in the next couple days so I can show you popping one out to finish the video. Um, that block might not be done for, I, I usually leave them in for a week. These little ones right here, I'm hoping they get done so I can show you how I pop them out. So now I'm gonna clean up my mess, see if I can't find some, my butcher wax paper to cover it with real quick so I can show you. Cover it up. And I've seen this on YouTube or somewhere. That's how I learned to do it. I'm sure there's better videos. And yeah, I just take a towel. I don't know why. They say so it don't cool off too fast. And I just cover it. I don't know if it helps or not. It's what I do. I hope that helps out. Make him soap. Um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll let it do a couple days. I'm gonna try to post this by Sunday. So I'll take the little ones, pull it and see if, there are lots of videos on YouTube. That's where I found out how to do it. That's how I find out how to do everything. But I'm gonna give this a couple days. We'll pull it apart and see where we're at. I won't be able to cut the block. I probably leave that, those other big ones for like, till next weekend. The crazy thing about making soap is when you wash the pans, all the residue and your hands are soft, really soft. All right, so it's the next day. Got up, made the brat some breakfast. So my kitchen's a mess. I'm gonna show you kind of what's going on with the soap. So I got my soap made, got it covered. Got it put in the molds, got it covered. It's hardened up pretty good. I'm not going to pull this block out. It, these blocks, it's still a little soft in the middle. So I'm going to leave that one in there. I'm going to show you how I do these. I'll take that paper that I use to cover them. Pop them out of these molds. They're gonna be they're gonna be soft. What I do is just set them out so they can finish curing up. A little bit of a marble. It's supposed to be black and red, but that didn't really that big chunk, the big block's gonna look pretty. Let's see if these, yeah, still soft. You could probably leave these in for another day, but I'm just kind of showing you. Kind of got that little marble effect. One worry worried about this these blocks. This big block. That's gonna be the pretty one. And there you go. That is your bars of soap. Whole house smells like lavender. You just wash these up. Probably throw them in your dishwasher if you have one. I'm gonna let this sit for probably a good week because it it's just soft such a big block to cure so I bought this whole set came with two of these molds 
knives and the cutter. And when you're done with this, you pull it out. You're going to put the, you're going to take the raw so about, put it in here. You got your little however thick you want it. And you take your knife. I have another one. So it comes with this serrated or whatever corrugated one. And you just start chopping it up. I'll stick this somewhere where no one will touch it because everybody's going to come by and feel how soft it is. And I'll let it sit up for a month. I think it's a couple weeks. And you can actually use it right away, but it just melts. So you want it to get a little, like, cured up. Now these ones here, these are hard. So there you have it. We made soap. Look who just got out of bed. There's bug bites all over them. <laughs> they went swimming this weekend. Got ate up. So if you have any questions, email, message me. Once this cures up, or what I might do is just start sending out whatever soap I have to these to you guys. But if you want to wait, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bars out of the molds. And then I don't remember how many I get on this. It depends on how thick I cut them. I think I get like 10 or 11 but if you want soap out of that batch then you have to wait but I do have some lavender vanilla some sweet pipe tobacco I think that's what I sent Brett and some other lavender so I'll start probably sending out some soap to you guys Or I'll just wait. Kind of cool to watch the video and see your soap being made. But you guys are going to have to wait probably about two, three weeks until it starts going out. So I'll start getting hold of you guys and uh, getting your addresses. So I hope you enjoyed the video, man. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, like I said, email, message me. And, uh, Thanks for watching. Remember, keep your powder dry. Stay safe out there.